All right, guys. Welcome to another time out with me on Alec GTV. Today we are um, going to do a quick uh, test um, trial to figure out if uh, we can have a very compact rig of 15 millimeters um, rig, small and compact that we could transfer between a larger rig like this one and our gimbal coming up. Hey, so welcome back. Thank you guys for being here. I appreciate your time. And um, I'll go straight to the point. Besides stress on the fact that if you're new to this channel, you might want to subscribe. Here we do music, movies, tech reviews, short movies, movie reviews. I appreciate that if you subscribe and um, join the family. All right, um, let's get on to business. Compact rig that we can move from the gimbal to the rig and back to the gimbal and back to handheld, you know, wherever we need to go. Just so that life will be easy on location. All right, let's get it on. So as you can see, this is already set up. We have a Moza iFocus there, the iFocus M by the way. I installed that, I got that one as well, just so it will be lighter. I also got this um, uh, carbon fiber, very light. It's uh, as light as the one that came, maybe even lighter. That makes it easier. If you want to do this setup, you want to go with this. We're going to turn it on and I'm going to take it out of the rig and see how fast we could do that and put it onto this uh, tripod. Let me elevate the tripod and get it ready. Uh, no battery power came with it, but anyway, it's working. As soon as I turned on the gimbal, it gets powered on. So I'm good with that. Lighter product, easier, less noise. That's a good, that's a good thing. So um, remember we have the small rig, uh, button plate there and if i can get a lighter base plate than this one i will go for it just to keep this setup even lighter and um, easy to transfer between both i was going to set this all up all right so let's uh, see if we can pair so we'll turn on our moza air focus now to be able to get our in and out points for the follow focus um, we're gonna go back to menu and uh, we'll go to function and then push to the right. Um, get your motor calibration, push to the right. And if you are gonna be physically turning that uh, lens on the gimbal right now, I'm gonna go over there and use the, my hand so I can see actually uh, where we at. Button. Uh, which is like uh, to the next and it says starting position click to the right to confirm i'm going to go over there and do that and i'll click this button on the start point and the end point and i click out again all right so now let's uh so we are focusing there we go i see all the red marks coming up and voila, it stopped here. So you feel it click when it comes to the end here. 
That's very good. The entire purpose of this whole rig setup is to actually get it out here, mount it here, and see how we can do, you know, what challenges we'll face as we go back and forth. Now, this hand unit is still connected. I'm going to lay it aside. Turn our gimbal off. Okay. And on the rig, how do we power? On the rig, we have to power some other way. Mm. This is where the original follow focus comes in. This is where I would say the original um, I Moza I focus comes in. Um, so I was thinking how to power this guy if I shut down. Um, we're going to figure that in a minute. Mm, interesting. <sighs> so. Uh, that's where this other option will come in. That we have to, yeah, I think that's the way to go. So I'll take this one off completely. Taking it off. Nice and easy. Still powered on, still connected. Come over to the rig here. We come over to the rig and we got this. Let me set it up this way. Come over to this rig, which we already know. We already, all this is already set up. We have the riser for that. Um, I mean, if you're following me on my channel, you'll know about this riser from Canvet. It's new, came out about, you know, I probably was the first to get it. I would like to wrap this up. So, but, um, so that's just a little, a little, little tip. I'm doing another video right away, which is the, for the slide pod, Mozart slide pod, you know. Um, you watch out for that video, okay? Which is about the slide pod and what creative things you could do with it. All right, so thank you guys for watching.